Hey everyone, it's Mike. I review nootropics and during this video we're going to talk about Bacopa. This is uh, Synapsa, 320 milligrams per capsule. So during this video, I want this to be your whole guide. I'm going to talk about the benefits, my personal experience, the proper dosage, and I'm going to give you some advice as far as how you want to add this to your stack. We'll answer some commonly asked questions as well, so stay tuned. No for the record, I am a Bacopa user. Pretty much 90% of the nootropics that I discuss throughout my video blog and throughout my library. So I'll go over the benefits and really as well what I've noticed and what's been my personal experience. Bacopa is a, a nootropic that I've been using for probably six or seven years. Of course, there's some time off when I cycle on and I cycle off. I'm typically taking it in a capsule form. This is uh, from Nootropics Deepa. This is Synapsa, 320 milligrams per capsule. I'll put a link in the description box below where you have access to that and make the appropriate purchase. I actually have this from Smart Powders. I haven't opened yet as I purchased it a long time ago and just haven't gotten around to it. This is um, Bacopa Minieri 20%. I like it from Smart Powders a lot as well. Bacopa is one of those things that really does taste awful. And then other forms I have it in, of course, are powder form. This is 250 grams of the powder. And then this is the capsule, just to give you um, a visual of what the powder actually looks like. And you look at it, you smell it, it's awful. So it is one of those nootropics that similar to Alpha GPC clumps a little bit and Lion's Mane, which is another reason why you may want to buy it in capsule form. This is the version that I'm most often taking. This is the Synapsa, pretty small pills. You can see like, here's the example of the size of a pill. It's pretty damn small. So if you were to ask me which one to purchase, I would definitely go through the Bacopa capsule form. Bacopa is one of the supplements where I've noticed that the brand, the vendor, really does make a big difference. There are kinds of Bacopa which I've taken that have given me this awkward, stimulating feeling, almost like a little bit of uncomfort, which then leads to anxiety and then leads to me just not being present. Whereas with this Bacopa, you know it's doing everything that you want it to do because the studies all show it's gonna improve your memory, it's gonna slightly improve your mood, it's gonna help you with anxiety. And the brand that you get of Bacopa, you'll definitely notice working if all these things do happen to surface from your observations. So my personal dose is I take Bacopa twice per day, once in the early afternoon and then once in the late afternoon slash early evening where, where I'm taking two capsules on each ingestion which means I'm taking 640 milligrams per each dose. And I like it a lot that way. This is a nootropic, which I actually think is not beneficial to take in the morning. And one of the reasons why is it, to some extent does help to fight off fatigue. So if it helps to fight off fatigue, what is really the purpose of having it in the morning? That being said, you really do notice, especially when you combine it with other adaptogens, that once you take that afternoon dose, you really just get a bit recharged. You almost feel like you've taken a nap. You feel refreshed, a little bit stimulated in the right way, like a natural jitter-free sort of stimulation. I notice I feel a little bit more present. So if I were to choose the best time of the day to take it, if there was one time, it would be right then in the early afternoon. Going over the benefits itself, and I'll talk about my experience. For any new tropic, which let's say has been around for an extended period of time, then there should be enough studies which show whether or not it is actually useful for the benefit that you intend to take it for. Bacopa, for example, most people notice the impact on memory, and that's what shows in the studies as well. However, it is shown that you do have to take it for at least three to four weeks. So don't judge it based on the acute effects and what you feel in a few hours, and really judge it based on what you have after a few weeks. And the problem I notice people have is they are not consistently putting it in a regimen and having it every single day. So whatever you can do just to make that habit easier, be maybe take it after you brush your teeth or take it in the afternoon after you go to the gym, just make sure that you are taking it consistently so you can really evaluate. Otherwise, what, it's just a waste of money. So memory is great. Anti-anxiety, great. Um, it can help as an antidepressant, but I do notice it's a little bit light that way. I would recommend you look into Lion's Mane. And overall, just really feeling present. It's a nootropic, which I like, but it does have its side effects in that it makes you feel slightly lethargic, almost demotivates you to some extent. So really who this is appropriate for is somebody that maybe has a deadline and they know they have to work. For example, like a student and you have an exam tomorrow, like you know, irregardless of what happens, you cannot afford to be demotivated. You have to be, for example, studying for 10 to 12 hours because you're naturally not gonna let the phenomena of demotivating you really affect you. You have the accountability and structure and you have that accountability in place. But stacks that I recommend you take it with, if you are somebody that is na like naturally a little bit lazy, maybe a little bit less ambition, then this would not go in my top three nootropics that I would recommend for you. The ideal stack which I recommend you take Bacopa with 
are a stack where you are again you're getting the cognitive benefits from it everything to keep you focused everything to keep you driven everything to keep you having your judgment in place and you prioritize things things what would help in that context would be like nupep paracetam oxyracetam um, I like aniracetam as well and of course a good choline source of alpha GPC so this way you do have the best of both worlds and you don't really have to worry about the side effects because as you just browse across the internet you'll notice again and again that people seem to complain about the effects of bacopa on demotivation some people have issues with it with their sex drive I don't notice that myself I can really only say positives about it if I did not have bacopa in my stack I would not be too bothered about it if you were to take something else out like paracetam or like nupept I would be more concerned concerned about that because this it helps with my memory very very significantly if your mood's really good and you already have a decent memory I mean in the big picture of things the other nootropics in my opinion can be more helpful if I were to rate it I'd rate it 8 out of 10 because the fact that I've been taking it for so long and consistently take it does of course speak for itself but I do really notice that the side effects can be very severe for some people again most of the studies show that it works after three to four weeks however it's been my experience that almost to some extent like an acute feeling. I just took a couple tabs of this before I shot the video and you immediately feel like a little bit more present, a little bit less distractible. Um, just your number of thoughts really seems to lower down, which I like a lot because I notice just the less thoughts I have, the more powerful I seem to be to some extent. I just feel very confident, feel like my priorities are top of mind. So Bacopa and Ashwagandha, I notice can really do magical things when it comes to that and I really like that a lot. Other than the acute effect, I've noticed it can be very effective like between meals or when you're fasted. Let's say in that state where it's been maybe three or four hours since your last meal and your energy's dying down just a little bit, you notice that you need to eat a meal. This can really help you just go a couple hours longer in whatever work you're engaged in and just feel a, bit, a little bit more recharged because when you're in that state of being hungry, it's almost like your food is at the top of your mind. You're not very productive in most cases just because you're so irritable at the same time and like any interaction with anyone can sort of put you off. But I like it that way. It just again helps me be present. And socially, one thing I like about it is just in that the presence and the calmness that it gives you, you really do have this ability to just slow down the conversation. Like I'm in sales and sometimes conversations, they can get very intense. There's objections, there's people complaining, and this helps, you know, just like to slow down the conversation a little bit. You know, we're on the same team at the end of the day. Let's talk about a solution moving forward. If you're a student, I like it a lot for you. However, again, make sure that you're taking it with something else, which can offset the demotivating effects. People asking, is it similar to Lion's Mane? Again, I would say yes and no. Lion's Mane will help you in essence with your BDNF and your NGF, essentially making you smarter and all like the neuroplasticity effects. Bacopa won't do too much that way, but they do have similar uses when it comes to anti-anxiety, when it comes to depression, and really helping to manage your relationship with stress. Like I've talked about stress resilience, which is really your ability to have a high capacity for stress and your relationship to stress and wanting to really be engaged in activities which can induce stress on you because stress is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. And you can have that with a clear, more, much more clear perspective I notice when you're taking Bacopa consistently. So do check it out, I'll put it in the description box below. Feel free to ask me questions, don't forget to click like, click dislike, make sure to subscribe. I'm curious to know what you want me to review in a future video. I hope you found this helpful and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.